Welcome everybody to another video and in today's video I'm going to be helping you guys get to 100k value. If you're anywhere in between 10k to 100k value this video is going to be helpful and if you're anywhere below that I have a video on how to get to 1k and a video as well as how to get to 10k. Now as you progress in trading there are a lot more ways to profit. The more value you have the easier trading becomes because it opens up all these different ways that you can profit and then if you have all these items then you can get better offers and you can get a variety of offers and it just gets easier as you go. Now the first point is going to be the upgrade and downgrade method. This is one of the most simple ways to profit. Let's say you upgrade into an item for a 1k overpay and you just want to downgrade for more than that 1k overpay. Another thing to point out about upgrading and downgrading, when you're upgrading you tend to not profit as much, but when you downgrade it is a lot easier to get overpays, so what you can do is mass upgrade into one big item over time and then you can just downgrade a bunch and that is a good way to make a lot of profit. The next point is always a classic, flipping projecteds will always be a good way to profit. Now as people are finding more and more out about projecteds, not as many people fall for it but the new traders usually do, so flipping projecteds, always a good way and and even you can flip projected, it's not fully either. Let's say you give like a low amount for a projected, like 3k for a 15k projected. Someone might give you like 6 or 7k for that same projected just to flip it themselves. So that's another easy way to profit. One big thing about any level of trading is you always want to work with the items that you're most comfortable with or that you're the best at trading with. If you're better with smaller items, you want to trade with those or bigger items, wrap items or valued items. Whatever you're the best at or most comfortable with trading, go for that because you'll probably succeed the best with those and then you can profit easier. At this level of trading of trying to get to 100k, you're not going to get the most offers, but as you gain value, the more offers you'll get and the easier trading becomes. So at this level, you're still going to need to control most of your profit in trades and send out a bunch of offers to people and send out a lot of trades that will help you succeed. Always a good way to try and find deals on your items or looking at trade ads for your items. You can go to the Rollymon website and you can look at trade ads for your specific item and sometimes you'll find a good offer and then you can send that person and you might just get yourself a good deal. Just like people making trade ads for your items, you can go ahead and also make trade ads for your items as well. So you can advertise your inventory, which advertising your inventory always gets you a better chance of offers because you're putting your inventory out there, showing the people what you have, and then you can get offers even easier. The two best ways to advertise your inventory is going to be on the Rollymon's website where you can create trade ads. And then on Discord, you can go into different servers and post your trade ads there. Just like how I collect waffle hats, there are a lot of other traders who will collect different items and hoard them either for fun or for profit. So with your items that you have, you can always check the hoarders of your item, see if there's anyone who's hoarding them, and then try and send them a trade and get a nice overpay. With people being compromised, a lot of times items will get LPP'd, but the best thing to do when that happens is don't panic trade. Sometimes they will drop, but most of the time they do recover after some time. So the best thing to do is still look for a good offer regardless and try not to panic trade. A big factor in trading are the better demand items usually get the better offers and trades. Because of the most popular, more people will want them and the better deals that will be for that item. So when you're trading, if you get the better demand items and you're fill up your inventory with demand items, you can usually get a better chance of getting a good offer or trade. One thing about the items in trading is you want to know the highs and lows of items so you can focus on certain items for wins. So when you upgrade, you want to upgrade into the items when they are low and you want to trade them off when they are high. A nice way to upgrade and profit is you can lowball valued items with pure wrap. So let's say a legit fedora is 16k value, you can give 15.5k or even less maybe for that item in wrap and that's just an easy way to profit and upgrade. Adding on to my knowing the highs and lows of items point is you always want to trade your items when they are high and you want to trade four items when they are low. This will maximize your profit because when you trade your items when they are high then that means you can get rid of them when they're at their peak and that will maximize your profit and then if you trade four items when they are low you can wait till they raise back up to their peak and then you can trade them off and just repeating this process gets you a lot of profit. Another thing about trading is the people with the smaller amounts usually tend to not have as much knowledge and experience so that is probably the best way to get better deals because someone with 50k is going to be usually less biased than someone with a million and if you're looking to trade for a specific item let's say like a otter antlers and they're like 20k you definitely want to trade someone who has like otter antlers and just a little bit else you don't want to go up to someone who has millions and try and offer for them because you're usually going to want a bigger overpay 
and one of the biggest things in trading i mentioned it before but the richer you get the easier trading will become and sometimes trading can be hard at times but if you have an inventory that you don't like work on just getting rid of it and changing up the items to items that you like but the richer you get the easier trading will become so just know that when you are trading so that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and learned something. If you did, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and help me out get to 5k subs. But that is going to be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.